Welcome to TradePro. This is the release video for the very first TradePro trading script. This isn't just any normal indicator. This is a highly customizable, complete strategy with a lot of potential. In this video, I'm going to show you the script and all of its different features, as well as go over how I recommend that you use it for the best results. This script is the first of many that will be created and made available to all Patreon Chart God tier members. So even if this one doesn't fit your style of trading, one of the future scripts likely will. Consider joining Patreon with the link in the description down below to not only support the channel's continued content, but also get access to this and all future trading scripts, along with the other perks already part of becoming a Patreon supporter. Once you join the Chart God Patreon tier, you will be given access to the script on TradingView using your TradingView username. And in order to apply it to your chart, you're gonna need to go to the Indicators tab to invite only scripts and then search for the Ichimoku Cloud Strategy by Stratfather. You can simply click on it to apply it to your chart. Now I do want to note that this script is still a work in progress, so we will be making additions and changes to it in order to improve the results and give you more customizable options with it. All right, so this is the Trade Pro Ichimoku Cloud Trading View strategy, and the script is based on the Ichimoku Cloud strategy that I've shown on my channel and tested 100 times. If I scroll down just a bit, you'll see the thumbnails for those videos here, and I will link the videos in the description as well. I should also note that this script comes with a 108 page instruction manual going over all of the features. So for this video, I'm not going to get into a ton of detail about every little feature, but I'll show all the main things and most important factors about it. I should also note that there will be updates made to the script to improve it over time. So maybe it will look a little bit different when you get it. So let's get into the different features here. Let's start out by taking a look into the settings of this script. So I'll click into it and under the inputs tab, the first thing you see is general settings and mode. You have the choice between two different modes. One is testing mode, one is trading mode. For the testing mode, it's gonna be for when you want to try out different settings on the script to see what works best and test it on historical price data. For trading mode, that's where you're actually going to be actively looking for trades. You can set alerts, you can set it up to do automated trading for you, a bunch of different things, but those are the two different modes. And I'll switch it over to trading mode so you can see it gets rid of all of the uh, data on the chart telling you what's actually happening with each of the historical trades. And then let's go back in and look at the next thing. So the next thing is simple. It's just the Ichimoku cloud settings themselves. So you can change conversion line, baseline, leading span, and leading lagging spline displacement. And that's just typical for the Ichimoku cloud itself. And then we have the selection of position entry settings. So if you want it to enter trades on longs and shorts, or just one or the two, you can check each one or you can check only one of them depending on what broker you're using, you might not be able to short. Next, we have the entry strategy. And this is where things start getting special with this script. So let me show you what I mean. Right now it's set to default, which means it's just following the strategy that was shown in my two channel videos about the Ichimoku cloud strategy. And it's just going based on the basic rules. But if you drop it down, you can see ATR pullback and EMA pullback. What that means is criteria is met, price is broken out of the cloud and all criteria is met, but it can only enter a trade once the price has pulled back either a certain ATR value or to an EMA of your choice. So I'm gonna click on EMA pullback and we have it set EMA length 50. So what it means is it's going to only take an entry once criteria is met and then price has pulled back to the 50 period EMA. And you can change this to any EMA you want. So you can try out tons of different things. I'll click okay and you can see what has happened. So you can see price breaks out of the cloud Criteria is all met, but it doesn't actually take an entry until price pulls back to the 50 period EMA, which is this white line right here. It puts the EMA on your chart and you can see exactly what it does. Breaks out, pulls back to 50 period EMA, takes the entry right here, and you can see this one is a successful trade. 
but this is how special the script is. You can tell it to do things like this and you can even do an ATR value based pullback after the breakout of the cloud because a lot of the time you'll get a breakout of the cloud and then a pullback before you actually want to be taking an entry. So this script lets you do that. Now let's go on to the next thing. Next, it has the ability to restrict entries to a certain date range of your choice and the ability to restrict entries to certain days of the week and certain times of day. So if you only want it to trade certain days of the week and certain times of the day on those specific days, you can do that. That's how customizable this is. Next, we have the order size settings. So you can choose to have it risk a certain percent per trade of your account value. And you can also have it decide to either assume the use of leverage, so meaning to leverage your position size up to the required amount in order to risk 1% on your account. You can have it trade a maximum amount up to your account size, so not using leverage. And then you can have it skip entries entirely if it wants you to use a very large position size that's actually larger than your account size. So it would require the use of leverage. Maybe you don't have a leverage or you don't want to use leverage. You can just skip entries if you don't want it to use leverage or a larger position than your actual account size. And if you override your order size settings on the properties tab, then it's going to be using these parameters and not going to be using what you see here with order size. So over here, you can set it to have the order size, a set percentage of your equity contracts, USD. Um, and I think it's better to do it based on the settings over here where you can choose your percent risk per trade. But that's just me. Next are the position exit settings. And this is extremely important, just like the position entry settings. So let's go over all the features here. First, we have the default, which is placing the stop loss just below the Ichimoku cloud. You can also change it to actually be an ATR based stop loss placement. So if I change it to ATR pullback and we can choose what ATR multiplier we want. So do we want the stop loss to be placed at two times the ATR value or do we want it to be placed at one times the ATR value? You can decide what ATR value you want to use for your stop loss placement. And then there is the risk to reward ratio as well. So do you want to be using a one to one? Do you want to be using a one to five, a one to 1.43? You can choose any risk to reward ratio you want to be using, but this isn't just based on a risk to reward ratio. You also have the option to close long positions if the lagging span crosses below price and close short positions if the lagging span crosses above price. So this isn't just based on a strict, rigid risk to reward ratio, but you can also have it be dynamic where it closes your position when the lagging span signals to do so. So that is a really special thing about this indicator that you're probably not gonna see on too many indicators or scripts out there. Now let's move on to the next thing. Next, this has the ability to give you alerts for different things that happen with the script. So if you want to enable the alerts, all you need to do is click on each of these alerts. So for long entries, long take profit, long stop loss, short entry, short take profit, short stop loss. You can also add a message if you want for each of these. And all you have to do is hit OK, then come over to the alerts, hit create alert, change this condition to the Trade Pro Ichimoku Cloud Strategy and change this tab to alert function calls only. Then you can decide if you want there to be an expiration date or leave it open-ended. So it will just keep open and you can choose where you want to be notified. So either on email, your phone or pop up on TradingView. And then you can change the name of the alert to whatever you would like. You can hit create and continue. And then you'll see an alert about to pop up here. There it is. So you're going to see the active alert. And then whenever one of your things happens, you can actually get the alert for it being triggered. 
Last but not least on the inputs tab here, we have at the bottom the trading widget settings. So the widget is this big box directly on the chart and you can decide if you want to get rid of it completely or show it and you can also choose exactly what you want to see displayed on it. So if you don't want to see the strategy configuration section of it, you can get rid of that. If you don't want to see the back testing results statistics, then you can get rid of that and you can have it only display the long selection and short selection um, with these colored dots. So when it's a green dot, that means that the condition is being met for the strategy. So if a long position is to be entered, all of these need to be green dots. Conversion line is above baseline, projected cloud is green, the price has crossed above the current cloud, price cro closed above the current cloud, and the lagging span is above the historic cloud. So that is the condition for a long plus any of the selected entry criteria you have chosen in the settings. So that is how the trading widget works. The last thing I want to mention is how you can use the script as a trading bot if you integrate with three commas. So this does have the instructions on how to do it on the instruction manual. And that's what I'll say about that for now. But let's get into how I recommend you use the script and some of the good settings that I found that seem to produce pretty good results. How I recommend you use this trading script to get the best possible results is first finding the settings that give you the best results for the time frame and the asset that you are going to be trading with. And then when you get any signal given by the script, you can go in and use other analysis to confirm that signal. So what I mean is if you get a long signal such as the one right here that was a loss, you could do extra analysis on top of the signal such as maybe a trend line saying that maybe it's not the best idea to long right here and you can actually filter out additional signals that might be bad signals and get your results even better than they are with just the script alone. So definitely recommending you add in additional factors. It could be additional candlestick patterns, can be trend lines, it can be other indicators, 200 EMA, whatever you want that you can kind of confirm the signals with to give you better results overall, then I'd say that is going to be your best bet to use this script and get great results. So now I'll get into some of the settings that I put together that got some good results based on the one hour time frame on Euro against the US dollar. All right, so now I'll show you settings I found for this script that provide great results. First, I'll show settings that bring a high win rate and a high profit factor. Then I'll show settings that bring a high net profit, but a lower win rate and lower profit factor. So let's get into it, starting with the high win rate, high profit factor settings. So if we look at the bottom here, we can see a 138% net profit over 91 trades that were 63.74% profitable or win rate and had a 2.374 profit factor with max drawdown of 13.2%. The average trade profited 1.52% and there was a 38 hour average trade length as this is on the hourly time frame. So let's take a look at the actual settings. The max drawdown is pretty high at 13.2%, so we can fix that by changing the settings here. Right now it's risking 2% per trade, but if I change it to one, we're gonna cut that number down and let's take a look at it now. Max drawdown, 6.79%, but the net profit does suffer if you want to have a smaller drawdown. So it's up to you what you want to do with that, but let's get into all the other settings here. So these are all the same default. I have changed the entry strategy to the EMA pullback and set the EMA length to 50, and I've not restricted any of these. I did override the order size settings. So you can see in properties, we have $10,000 account and risking 1% um, per trade, assuming that there's a use of leverage if needed to get up to that 1% risk per trade. The um, exit strategy is based on the ATR value. So ATR multiplier is 3.5. So the stop loss is 3.5 times 
uh, the ATR, and the risk reward ratio is 2.6, and the uh, strategy is set to close long positions if the lagging span crosses below the price, and close short positions if the lagging span crosses above the price. So those are the settings for this that gave some really nice results here with a extremely high profit factor and win rate. Now here are the high net profit settings for the script using the exact same set of price data as the last test, but this time it has a 215% net profit risking 2% per trade with 245 trades taken in the same amount of time as the last one took only 91. Because with the criteria for this one, it is easier to get entries, so there are a lot more trades taken. This one has a much lower win rate at 46.53% and a much lower profit factor of 1.472. The drawdown is a little bit less actually, so not too bad of a drawdown at 12%. Average trade profits 0.88% and the average trade is 27 hours long. Uh, if we want to try some other settings out, um, then we can go in and change it. So let's see what happens if we risk 3% per trade. So the max drawdown goes up to 18.95%, but the net profit goes all the way up to 422% over this series of price data. So let's go in and look at all the settings for this setup. So I have default for the entry strategy. All of this is default as well. If we go down, it's overriding the order size, of course, put it back to 2% risk per trade. And of course, assuming use of leverage in order to get up to that 2% risk per trade, the position exit settings are default. So stop loss is at the uh, Ichimoku cloud and the risk reward ratio is 2.2 and it is closing long positions if the lagging span crosses below price and closing short positions if the lagging span crosses above the price. So these are some settings that I found uh, with a high net profit. And hopefully that gives you a good idea of how you can kind of customize and either aim for a high net profit or if you want to have a high win rate, you can change the settings. And if you want to have a high profit factor, you can do things to get there. You can customize how much you want your drawdown to be based on the settings. And it's just a lot of things you can do to make it into exactly what you want. and even if you um, don't want to use this all on its own, you can combine this with other things. So if you get an entry signal, you can go in and actually decide if other factors are also lining up with what the script is saying. So if you're not using this to auto trade for you, then you can actually make the decision yourself and combine other factors. Maybe you're looking for hidden divergences and you want to use it or you want to use a trend line or another indicator, support and resistance, candlestick patterns. You can add those things in on your own and make the decision yourself of whether or not you're going to enter any given signal. So you can improve your results even farther by doing that. So Anyway, um, I think that's pretty much enough for this video. I hope that you guys like the script and we really want to make something that is actually going to be helpful um, because most indicators and scripts out there just aren't all that helpful for you. They don't actually perform that well and they aren't very customizable in all the ways that you need them to be in order to get some decent results. So um, I think this one is going to be really helpful and the future scripts that we're coming out with for different strategies um, hopefully will be the same level of quality and customizability. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, consider joining the Patreon if you want to get access to this and all the future scripts that are made and hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you.